Hey everyone, it's Janine, your local realtor here in the Edmonton area. Uh, today I'm going to go over what's been happening in the market for the month of December, just kind of see how we ended off the year. If you've been following along to my other market reports, you'll notice this one's quite a bit different. I started a new template and everything, so I would love to hear your opinions and if you would like any changes, if you'd like me to add anything or whatever it may be, drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to read them all. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to remind you if you aren't familiar with Edmonton, um, even if you are, the purpose of this report is just going to be the city of Edmonton. So that's kind of just within the city limits. So there are a lot of little cities, um, little suburbs around Edmonton that kind of forms the greater Edmonton area, like St. Albert, Sherd Park, Beaumont, Miskew, Devon, Spruce Grove, all these places. Uh, but they're not included in this report because each place individually will have their own report. But for the purpose of this video, we are just going to focus on Edmonton as a whole. So that being said, we do work in all of these other areas. So if you do have any questions about a specific area, let me know. I'm always happy to help. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to focus first on detached single family homes. For the month of December, we had 1,870 active listings and 376 sold. So looking at that as a percentage wise, it is just over 83% were active and just over 16% sold. So taking a look at an overview of the average. So for the month of December, we our average price was at 459 999. Um, it has decreased month to month and year to year. So keep in mind though, um, not with not just with this, but as we go through everything, sometimes averages can be a little skewed because if there were more lower price properties for whatever reason selling that month, or more higher price properties for whatever reason selling that month, it could kind of skew the average. So always when you are actually looking into purchasing or selling a property. You want to really know what's happening with your specific situation, with that specific property. You want to compare apples to apples, right? So this is just a big overview of everything. So the numbers might be a little off sometimes, but it, it kind of gives you an idea of where we're at. So yes, we are down year to year. Uh, it's not overly surprising with, um, all the interest rates increases. So what does that really mean for a buyer? This is your opportunity. Last year, around this time, we were starting to see the increase and we'll see it on our, our next um, slide here, but we were starting to see an increase and the prices went up and yes, you got it in a lower interest rate, but you got it also at a higher price. So now's your chance to get it at a lower price Interest rates don't always stay the same. So now is the time to find some deals. Even though um, the prices are lower, the days on market aren't as long as last year. So that is a good sign. And, and I believe we're going to pick up as we head into the new year, into the spring too. Okay, so looking at just kind of the average price overall. So this is what I mean. Okay, last year at this time, we were around this point and we increased and increased and then we peaked around the springtime and kind of decreased a bit once the interest rate started. So one of the first announcements was around April to May, that's the dip. And then we were kind of steady and another announcement was in July and a dip. So, and then it kind of slowly decreased a little bit and we had another announcement in December which kind of explains where we're at for the average price. Also, it's really not surprising that the prices go lower in the winter time. It generally happens that way just because there's not as many buyers out there and there's not as many people moving during the winter and the holidays. So now that we're on the other side of the holidays, I think things will start picking up again. So let's take a look, closer look at what is selling in Edmonton. So here we've broken down all the kind of price ranges. And as you can see, 
uh, the most activity is between 300 to 500. So that's the most listings and also the most sold. So as we get a little bit more expensive, the activity kind of drops off a bit. Months of inventory. So what this means is if everything continued to sell at the exact same pace as it is right now, how many months would it take um, before everything sells out? So right, even though there, it looks like, so just going back quick, it looks like this has the most inventory. When you compare it against the rate of sales, this actually has the lowest inventory. But that being said, it is a healthy range of inventory. It's more of a balanced market within 300 to 500 range. Once we cross the $500,000 range, uh, it continues to go up. So this is definitely a buyer's market in here. So if you're looking $500,000 plus, there's definitely some opportunities to find some deals out there. Same with these ones as well, the lower price ones. Um, you, you just might have to be a little quicker. Because that being said, let's look at how long these take to sell. So days on market. The average around here is around 50 days on market. As we cross the 500,000 mark again, the days continue to go up. So how many sold at the list price or even over list price? Now, if you remember last year, last year we were selling around like, well, not at this time, more in the spring. So last spring we were sitting at around like 60% going at list or over list price. Now we are down to around five, three to five percent of it. So you'll notice this one kind of um, at 800,000, it's saying quite a bit sold at or over list price, but that's because there's way less properties that sold at this price. So this is kind of what I was meaning earlier. Um, sometimes random things can kind of skew an average a little bit. So it's always important to look at the situation that you're in and specific properties, compare apples to apples and really um, look at a specific situation because it can it can vary greatly depending on property, depending on location and all all the other factors. So anyways, there are not many going at or over list price. So now is the time you can find those deals if you're a buyer for sure. Okay, so let's look at duplexes and townhomes. So remember duplexes and townhomes some of them can be a part of a condo, some of them might not be. If they're not a part of a condo, the price is generally higher. If they are a part of the condo, the price is generally lower. So sometimes that can skew some averages as we'll see too, um, just depending on how many condo duplexes, townhomes sold versus non-condo. Okay, so looking at listings and sold, we had 762 active listings and 176 sold. Looking at that as a percentage, pretty similar to a uh, detached single family, around that 80% mark and just over 18% sold. So the average, we did feel a decrease from month to month and year to year, uh, roughly around the same time frame to on days on market. So this is kind of where I'm talking about if there were a lot of condo duplexes sold, it could bring the average down. If there were less condo or non-condo duplexes sold, it might bring it up a little bit. So looking at it kind of overall, again, we were around um, this point last year and we went up and we peaked and kind of steadily decreased ever since. So what is selling? If you look at what's selling, the most popular ones that are sold are 200 to 299. So that is likely or likely condo townhomes. If you're looking at more duplexes, uh, non-condo duplexes, this will generally be seen around the higher 300s to maybe even low 400s. So taking a look at the month of inventory, there is a healthy range of inventory. 
a little lower on the two hundred to three hundred thousand dollar range, which is the most popular range with duplexes and townhomes. But if you're looking at a higher price one, there is a lot of inventory for you to pick from right now. And so now is the time again to find the, those deals. They're out there. Okay, days on market. So everything's around kind of around the 50 range again. So again, you'll see like this is um, another kind of weird one. Not many days on market, right? But there weren't that many sold. So it can skew the average a little bit. So how many were sold at or over list price? Again, very low in comparison to where we were this spring. All right, so let's take a look at apartment condos. So we had 995 listings, active listings, and 153 sold. Uh, just over 86% and 13% sold. All right, so the average, we did find a dip from month to month, year to year again. Uh, it is taking longer for some of these condos right now and it is not surprising at this time of year though so so what is selling the most popular range for apartment condos is up to 200,000 those are the most sold you'll see a lot of investment properties that way or even first-time home buyers because it's a good chance to get into the market that way Months of inventory. We have quite a bit of apartment condos to pick from. So if you're looking to get into one, you will be able to find a deal. You will have your choice. Um, there's, there's quite a bit of inventory. If you are a seller, that just means you really need to stand out and price accordingly, uh, plan accordingly, and make sure your, your place shows in the best possible light. Days on market. So yeah, we're pushing around 80, averaging around 80 to 90 days on market. Um, you'll see some of some of these ones in the higher price are quite a bit longer, but it also can be skewed just by maybe one, one property that has taken a little longer than most, but it is going to take longer to sell versus uh, a detached home, for example. So how many sold at or over list price? Not many. Uh, just below 2% for up to 200,000 and just over 3% of them from the 200 to 300 and the rest had not sold at or over list price. So they were under list price. Again, for buyers, this is your opportunity to find some good deals out there. For sellers, this really emphasizes the importance of pricing properly. All right, so that's just a quick overview of the market in December. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to send me a message, uh, text, call, email, send me a message through my website, whatever way, drop a comment below. Uh, I'm always happy to help and until next time, see you.